Hello, and welcome back to the Garnet Sports Show. I'm Victor Brady. It was a week of barn burners in the Swarthmore Athletic Department, as each of the fall athletic teams had at least one game decided by a single goal or set. Let's begin with this week with the Swarthmore field hockey team, which went 2-0 on the week to improve to 4-4 at 500 on the season. They began the week on the main line at Eastern on Tuesday, and first half goals from Artie Rao and birthday girl Taryn Collines put the team up 2-1 at the break. Will Eastern tied it up after halftime, and the teams weathered a 50-minute lightning delay before going to overtime, where Artie Rao scored her second of the game, the game winner, to give the Garnet the 4-3 victory. Team returned to action on Saturday at Clothier Field, hosting Johns Hopkins. And for the second consecutive season, Nia Jones scored in the first five minutes against the Blue Jays to put the Garnet up 1-0. Now midway through the first half, it's Jones again getting a feed from Artie Rao again and putting it in the back of the net for the 2-0 lead. Final minutes now of the first half, Allison Ranshouse off the penalty corner, going right and putting it back across the cage for her first career goal. It was 3-0 Garnet at the half. Johns Hopkins scored two after the intermission, but Swarthmore held on for the 3-2 victory. For her performance in those two games, goaltender Gabriella Capone, a sophomore, Gabby Capone makes the save! was named the Centennial Conference Defender of the Week. On to men's soccer now, and the Garnet broke a little two-game losing streak with two wins this week over Muhlenberg and McDaniel. First on Wednesday in a rematch of last year's Centennial Conference Championship game against the Mules, it was Fabian Castro putting the Garnet on the board first off an assist from Jeffrey Stewart. Well, the Mules scored late off of a a bouncing ball at the top of the 18-yard box in front of goalkeeper David Denunzio to send the teams to overtime. They played a scoreless first 10 minutes and went to double overtime for the second consecutive matchup, and it's David Sterngold the senior with his 10th career game winner putting it off the inside of the post as Swarthmore defeated the Mules 2-1, the exact same result as that championship game last year. The team went back on the road on Saturday to McDaniel in Westminster, Maryland, and with a first half goal from Jack Momeyer and a second half goal off the penalty kick for Micah Rose, it was the Garnet with a 2-0 victory. In the win, David Denunzio posted his 25th career shutout, tying the Swarthmore program record, a 20-year-old record previously held by Andrew Kavanaugh of the class of 91. Women's soccer now 1-1 one one on the week, beginning on Tuesday on the road at Cabrini. Behind a pair of goals from senior Emily Coleman and first-year Emma Sindelar, Swarthmore handed the Cavaliers their first home loss in two seasons. Team returned to Clothier Field on Saturday to take on the Blue Jays, looking to avenge last season's 4-1 defeat. And after an early Blue Jay goal put Hopkins ahead 1-0, it was Megan Brock and Emma Sindelar connecting once again to tie it up just 12 seconds later with Brock sending through the freshman her second consecutive game with a goal. Well, Hopkins would take the 2-1 lead into the last 10 minutes of the match, and it's Amber Famigletti with a long free kick, and it sneaks through the entire Hopkins box in defense and into the back of the net to knot it up at 2. Well, with the team seemingly destined for overtime, the Blue Jays would get a late goal, a bouncing ball off several heads in the Garnet box, and a beautiful half volley top shelf for the finish as Johns Hopkins remained undefeated on the season. Volleyball action now, Swarthmore 0-2 on the week with two absolute heartbreaking losses here at Tarble Pavilion to Franklin and Marshall and Johns Hopkins. Both of those matches went the full five sets. Men's and women's cross-country teams were in action at the Paul Short run from Lehigh. Men finished 12th, women 27th in large fields there. Your Garnet Sports Show Performer of the Week with a pair of goals against Johns Hopkins and an assist against Eastern is sophomore Nia Jones propelling the Garnet to that 2-0 field hockey week. Thank you for joining us once again here on the Garnet Sports Show. For everyone here in the Swarthmore Athletic and Sports Information offices, I'm Victor Brady saying so long, we'll see you next time, and go Garnet.